Number 10. Death Toll. Since 1969, at least one person has died on Mount Everest each year, except for 1997. Main causes of death include suffocation, fatigue, and starvation. The trail leading to the summit is lined with dead bodies, and there is believed to be over 200 people who call Mount Everest their final resting place. Many bodies are left because of poor accessibility and severe weather, often making it very dangerous and expensive to bring them down from the mountain. With nearly 300 deaths to a mere 3,000 successful climbers, Mount Everest will claim nearly 10% of the people who try the feat of making the peak. Number 9. Without Oxygen on August 20th, 1980, Reinhold Messner became the first to climb the mountain alone and without supplemental oxygen. This was a remarkable feat, not only for Messner, but for much of the world. Up until his return, most people argued that it was impossible to climb the mountain with such little provisions. He also is the first climber to ascend all 14 of the world's 8,000ers, which are mountain peaks that reach 8,000 meters or 26,000 feet above sea level. Number 8. Man-Made versus Mother Nature The world's tallest man-made structure of any kind is the Burj Khalifa. It stands 829 meters or 2,719 feet. This immense skyscraper is a hard one to beat but Mount Everest is nearly 10 times its size at 29,029 feet. The mountain also grows four millimeters per year or one foot every 76 years as a result of upward thrust by two opposing tectonic plates. Number seven, can you hear me now? Believe it or not, there is a weak cell phone signal on the summit of the mount. This allowed for the first tweet to be sent by a hiker named Kenton Cool in 2011. It read, Everest Summit Number 9, first tweet from the top of the world. Two years later, the first phone call was placed from its peak. Upon hearing about the feat, Nepalese officials deemed it to be illegal. Number 6, Babu Sherpa. The highest recorded wind speed on the mountain is nearly 200 miles per hour. A number of this magnitude, when dealing with wind speed, is almost incomprehensible to understand. It would be nearly impossible to live through. A man by the name of Babu Sherpa holds the record for the longest time spent on the summit. In 1999, he spent 21 hours in the freezing cold on top of the largest landmass on the planet. Number five, kudo points for style. There are various ways to descend from the mountain. In 2007, Bear Grylls, the youngest British climber to reach the summit, used a powered paraglider to fly over the peak. Several other forms of travel have been used on the mountain, which includes snowboarding and skiing. Number four, on top of the world. No one knew that Mount Everest is the roof of the world until early in the 19th century. In 1802, the British launched what became known as the Great Trigonometrical Survey in order to map India. Heavy equipment, rugged terrain, monsoons, disease, and scorpions made the work unbelievably difficult. They soon proved that the Himalayas, and not the Andes as previously believed, were the world's tallest mountain range. By 1856, they had calculated its height to be 29,002 feet above sea level. A 1999 survey, using state-of-the-art GPS technology, found them off by a mere 33 feet. Number 3. Mount Landfill As early as 1963, a former climber of Mount Everest wrote in National Geographic that parts of Mount Everest had become the highest junkyard on the face of the earth. 
empty oxygen bottles, human feces, food packaging, broken climbing gear, and torn tents litter its paths. A single cleanup in 2011 removed over eight tons of waste from Mount Everest, and many more tons remain. In order to counteract the problem, Nepal's government now requires climbers to bring back their equipment or they will be subject to heavy fines. Number two, both young and old. The youngest person to successfully climb the mountain is 13-year-old Jordan Romero of the United States. In 2010, he broke the record set by 15-year-old Ming Kipa from Nepal. Most who climb Mount Everest are somewhat young or middle-aged. There are some exceptions to this, though. The oldest person to reach the summit was an 80-year-old man named Yuchio Miura. Number one, surprise wedding. A lot of odd things have happened on Mount Everest, yet there still hasn't been a birth, in case anyone was wondering. But to burst the bubble of the bride-to-be, a couple has already been married on the mountain. The bride and groom were both Nepalese citizens who kept it a secret from the other climbers until they reached the peak, where they were finally wed after a 60-day climb. Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.